Hi, I'm Julie Hip, and I am the mom of Paul, who's 25 now. He was diagnosed on the autism spectrum at age two and a half. We've been on the journey um, within the autism navigation for over 22 years, and I really just hope that people have a greater awareness. I think we've come a long way since Paul was young that they understand when you meet someone with autism that there's so much that they bring to the world, um, so many warm and genuine skills, and, and sometimes they may have a tough time with communication, but to just give it some time, right, and get to know the person. We embrace autism, and it's, it's changed our lives for the better. We're much more understanding of all people, right, and, and that what they can bring to each day. Everyone is different, and, and I didn't know this was going to happen, you know, when, it, when we were diagnosed, and it was a brand new day for us. So I would just hope that they have a, a broader understanding that um, our lives and our approach are different, but our inner, you know, needs and wants are, are the same, right? And just to have that acceptance, to be loved and to just be understood. Lots of moments. I mean, there were a lot of times, particularly when he was young and not quite verbal and was frustrated and would have meltdowns in the store or wherever where people might not understand why the behavior was happening. And to understand that behavior and what's kind of causing it um, and to just offer, you know, maybe an understanding versus a judgment is would be welcome because we got through it all and we're in a great place today. Paul is, you know, almost independent. He drives, thanks to my dad, um, and he lives a great life. It was, but it took a lot of steps to get to where we are today and we're still on the journey. It's definitely a lifelong. But those moments made us better. Um, and as his communication got better, it got easier. My dad was John Baxa. He was a teacher at Lyman Hall High School for many, many years, but he also owned Modern Driving School, and he taught for 50 years, actually. He passed away a few years ago, but I, I miss my dad very much, and he was instrumental in helping Paul learn to drive. It takes a lot longer for folks on the spectrum to learn certain things, and he drove with him for a year and a half, nonstop and taught him all the nuances that just wouldn't have happened as a natural course of a typical instruction.